Hey, took the uh, FX Impact M3 35 caliber out to the range today. And uh, first, first of all, I wanted to show you the Sabre Tactical extended Picatinny rail that I purchased because I needed the bipod to sit out further on the gun. Um, and the the bipod was actually scratching my tank. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this is what I shot today. I also shot my Terminator near the end. Um, so you'll see that, but it was a very windy day and uh, I couldn't believe it. The pellets, I could see them do curve balls from left to right. And at first I didn't really think the wind had too much to do with the, um, the pellets. Um, yeah, I've been shooting the FX Impact and the Terminator for about a year now and just could not believe how I could see these pellets um, go from left to right up to six or seven inches over. Usually on an average they were going about three, in three to four inches from left to right. Um, this is just at 50 yards. I'm shooting uh, the FX Impact M3. And this has the moderator on it. Later on in the video, I took the moderator off just to make sure the moderator wasn't uh, messing with the accuracy. And of course, that's something that I need to test because um, <clears throat> I just have questions about it. Sometimes my gun doesn't uh, perform as well when it has the moderator on it, it uh, in my mind. Uh, I don't have scientific proof for that, so I'll keep doing some testing on that. But I really think when I had the moderator off, I think it was shooting better. Again, th this is these are windy days. This is a windy day. Um, you know, I walked out there to 100 yards and it was gusting from left to right, and it was kind of gusting in and then coming up. So as you'll see in the rest of the video that some of my pellets go up about an inch, or, well, about two inches, um, because I think the wind has a lot to do with it. Yeah, that's what I was amazed about. Um, the wind has a lot to do with your accuracy. And, uh, you know, there's elevation on your on your scope, and then there's windage. And um, you know, at first, um, these groups are at 50, so you can see that it shoots really well at 50. Um, some of these groups are less than an inch. Uh, some are about an inch, and uh, you know, as as you can see, most of the groups shoot between. Uh, an inch to an inch and a half. Um, sorry about the fuzziness. I was going to take this out. This is where my watch this, watch this next pellet. Oh, the first pellet went over seven inches. Um, and actually, no, that went over four, four or five inches. I was going to take this out. Sorry about that. Um, you can fast forward this blurry part if you want. But uh, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, it came back to focus. Um, you can see the upper left hand corner of that bottom target. I was aiming at the diamond on the left side of the diamond. That's how much the wind was blowing my uh, pellets over. This is where I actually saw the pellet in the air. Um, which is the beauty of shooting at 850 feet per second, um, shooting JSB Diablo shaped, um, JSB exact, 81 grain pellets. Um, but you know, in the, in the upper right hand corner, you can see that it was about a two to two and a half inch group, two to two and a half. Um, bottom left, you can see where that pellet went way up. Went, went up about three inches. Um, I know it's not the gun. Um, I'm really kind of now a believer that the wind has a lot to do with your accuracy. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to say anything bad about FX Impact 
M3s, they're, the gun is really, um, it's really accurate. Um, usually at, at 100 yards, this is by this, this is 100 yards by the way. Um, before it was 50, now it's 100. Um, you can see that I'm actually aiming in the middle, the midline of the target, and it's still blowing the pellet over like three inches um, to the middle of the, that's a 12 inch target right there. Um, so you can see that the wind, you know, hey, you know, some people say, no, it's not the wind, but trust me, that wind actually matters. And I really didn't believe that until today. Uh, so anyway, this is at 100 yards, and you see I'm aiming at the very left part of the target. Um, and I, I know my mark, marksmanship isn't the best in the business, but it's not so bad because I've, I've shot um, on less windy days, and I get anywhere from 0.62 to 2.5 inches. Um, on a five shot group at 100 yards. Um, you can see this. Um, that was a four shot group right there that you see up on the upper right. Um, but that was about an inch group at 100 yards. Um, these other ones, see that the upper left, that's where the pellet was just blown over to the left. Um, this is at 100 yards as well. Um, you know, I'm testing all these things at 100 because, um, you know, there's a lot more elements that come into play when it travels 100 yards versus 50. Um, with the FX Impact and even the Terminator, um, you know, the FX Impact I can get anywhere from, you know, 0.35 inches uh, up to one and a quarter to one and a half with the FX Impact. Uh, with the Terminator, it's more like, you know, I can do anywhere from half of an inch on a good group up to uh, one and three quarters to two inches. Um, but of course, with the Terminator, I shoot some really, really poorly made pellets that I'm just trying to get rid of. Um, you buy them off of Amazon, I've mentioned them in my videos before. But I'm just trying to shoot them all away so that <coughs> I can uh, just buy JSBs. Um, again, the wind is really taking these. Um, I'm aiming at the very left hand side of the target and they're blowing over about four to five inches to the right. The one, see the one um, in the middle of the target that blew six to seven inches over. The one that's in the middle um, of the target near the bottom, near the, anyway, that's about six to seven inches that the wind blew. Um, anyway, yeah, windy day today. I can't, I don't know how much, uh, how many miles per hour the wind was going, but it was strong enough to take a pellet, which is the other thing that I've heard is that the, 35 caliber pellets are uh, bigger pellets and I heard, I've heard from other YouTubers that um, the wind really takes the 35 calibers compared to the smaller calibers. Uh, I don't know about the smaller calibers because I don't shoot 22, 25 or 30. Um, but, you know, you can tell... Um, this upper right hand group was a pretty good group. Um, it's probably about two and a half, two and a half, maybe three inches. Um, but it's a pretty good group in a windy day. Um, the lower group right there, as you, we, we uh, explained that one, it was four shots and it went, it was about an inch, give or take. Um, anyway, yeah, this is at the 100 yard mark. Um, you know, you had, had some really good conversations out at the range today. The, those guys are great. And, 
they totally understand. Uh, the bipod that I just put on, the cant was off a little bit, so um, I remedied that by putting a piece of carpet underneath uh, one of the legs and uh, made it a little bit better. But honestly, I can't say enough about those $19 bipods that you get. <laughs> Uh, they're very stable and uh, for the CV life and I did another video about this but um, just don't want to spend three or four hundred dollars on a bipod even though those are great um, I have found that the CV life is very very stable it's got rubber feet on it and um, that grip the, uh, the bench that I'm on and that's, you know, that's where I'm going to be. I've, I've got three of those bipods. Um, this is at 100 yards. And you can see even the one in the middle was pretty good for 100 yards, five shots in there. That was about maybe two inches or less than two inches. Um, four shot group, that was excellent. Um, you know, the wind must have died, was, must have died down and was... Um, in and out and stuff anyway you guys have a great day um if you like this content just remember to like and subscribe so you can get caught up on any new videos that come out and just happy shooting